Oh, slurp of the coffee. Right. Here is how to create a personal OneDrive account. And for this, you will need an email. Uh, I'm not going to use my school email address because I've already got a OneDrive account. Instead, I'm going to use a Gmail address that I have just made up. In fact, you can use any email address at all. I've started on Google uh, to show you how we get to OneDrive and simply just type in OneDrive into the search engine and we're looking for the top option, Microsoft OneDrive Access Files Anywhere. Click on it and you get this lovely screen and over here we have two options, sign up and sign in. Well, I'm not going to uh, sign in because I don't have an account so I need to sign up. Let's click on it and I've got two choices, personal or business. Well, we want a personal account. Uh, and we want to sign up for free, so let's click on it. And just like all the other things, we now have a uh, marathon form to complete. So here we go. I'm going to call myself a Firefly Tester again. Now, if you've got an Outlook account, you can use this. However, I'm going to use my favorite Outlook, my favorite account, which is tester firefly at gmail.com. There we go. Uh, I'm going to create a password. Uh, oh, by the way, you can see uh, it checks whether uh, somebody has already got that username and they haven't. So let's create a password and let's re enter it. Um, I'm just going to leave the UK. Um, postcode. Um, now, this is an interesting one. Um, if you have got the Netherlands, I would put down the school postcode. Um, which um, is uh, which is two two five two B G. So I think I might just flip it over to the Netherlands, just to be on the safe side. Two two five two B G. There we go. Date of birth. Well, if you watched the Google video, you just simply enter in any old thing. Make sure that you're probably eighteen or so. That'll do. You don't need to any know anymore. Gender, well, that's quite interesting. So you can have three options. I'll just stick with male. Um, help us protect your account. Again, I'm not quite sure why we need this. You can enter in uh, details so that I guess you get messages for your phone, but I'm going to leave that blank. And now these ridiculous features, which I can never get right. That hopefully is right. I don't want to have any promotion offers. Let's create my account. See, here we go again. 3R3K86Y. Oh, looks like it's working. Huzzah! It's working. So they need to check that um, I am who I am. So it's asking me to go to my email address. So uh, let's go to my email address. I'm just going to open it up in a different screen. Let's go to Gmail. And hopefully I'll have an email from Microsoft. There we are, verify my details. Let's click on it. And let's press this blue button. And hopefully that should be it. Yeah, there we go. Get a nice OK. And I'm now good to go. So here is my OneDrive account. There's my name up there, Firefly Tester. Here's my drive. I've got nothing currently in it, documents and pictures. And there's a little video that I can watch that explains a bit about how OneDrive works. And I can also uh, synchronize my cloud storage with my PC or my laptop storage, which is absolutely brilliant, which means you can just drag and drop from your computer but unfortunately, you cannot do this in school. You cannot install this link on the school's PCs at the moment, um, which is a real shame. But that's the basics. Uh, good luck with that.